Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Tying Seabed Streamers. Today we tie another fiber streamer, but we tie it with a new material on the market. That's the Twist Flesh Hair, this one here. And uh, we have two colors here, I hope you can see it. They're both pretty white. So we use the pearl for the bottom, put the ultraviolet on top, just to get a little bit of different colors into it. And today we tie our fly onto a new hook. That's a mustard hook, mustard tarpon. Also a nice hook for sea bass. Comes in a big pack. And it's definitely strong enough for bigger sea bass. So we start with the thread wrap. And then we take our material, in this case, the twist flesh hair. Um, the amount in here a little bit smaller compared to the, uh, just to the twist hair. This one's used already quite a bit. Um, however, it doesn't have that much volume, but it has a really nice shimmery pearl in it. And we take around that much. It's hard to say how much it is, but I would say around maybe a quarter of a pencil. And uh, this time we cut it in half because with these fiber zone tie really nice and small streamers. And this becomes the belly, so we tie that in immediately. Just as always, fiber sticking a little bit out in the front. Like that. We fold the material back. Work it a little bit around the hook and tie it down. Really easy tying. And we take the material again. Just take a half of it. Tape it a bit. Just makes it a bit longer when we tie it in. And we tie it in on the body side like that. And take our ultraviolet color. shine in it as well. It looks really good. Fished it already this season. We tape it a bit as well. And just place it on top like that. Give it a few wraps. it already by cutting a bit so we just make a lot of different cuts through the material and we fold everything back like that and just catch the material with the thread I still have the other color in the hand so swapping that now perfect and we just give it a few wraps really tight on the hook shank and we take the remaining bunch we just cut up and just tie it on the front and we need a little bit more and then if you need more fibers you always take small amounts cut it in half but here we cut it in half again so we kind of it. So. And just also tie that on top. This gives it a little bit denser head and this just looks usually better. And we have a little bit of the belly color left as well on the first step. And just tie that in as well. And we do use a little bit more here as well, which is 
makes the fly look so much better though. Same procedure here, just quarter it. Here a bit, work it back with the finger. Two turns, check if everything is in position, and then just tie it down and make a knot into it and to secure it. Cut the thread and we'll take our zapper gap. Step a gap and put a little bit of glue on top. Close the glue again. And now we have to get some ice. For this one here, I like to use 6mm ice. I like these. Um, Pearl blue ones, really nice color for um, flies efficient the ocean. At least that's what I think. And just do a little bit of cutting, just to get the fibers that are too long and a little bit curly straight. And the remaining cu uh, cutting, which is do when the uh, eyes are on. So as always, there's a little bit of glue in between, so we just get the fibers up a little bit here. Take a little bit of our E6000. Six millimeter eyes, we really use only small amounts of glue, otherwise, you just ruin your head. You don't want to do that. Take the eye from the other side, just place it onto the hook, move the needle out. Close the glue and then we can check the position of the ice. So like that, we now use our eye tool. tight as it's a small fly and just let it dry for a second. So the eyes are dry. We just do a little bit of cutting now. Um, you can brush it a bit but it's not a material that you can brush that good. But uh, just spread it a bit. And we take the fly out of the rice for a second just to get it in a nice shape. these materials again that makes you look like you can't tie it all but in the water it just looks so stunning and I'll use a picture where the fly is wet as title picture so you can see 
how it looks like. So always cut free the hook band a bit, at least. this again later looking so nice so enjoy trying out this material twist flesher really nice stuff <laughs> 